Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Knights Watch. My name is Graham and today we have a very special unboxing and review. It is the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean, the Mark II. It has been a long wait and it has been a wild ride for a while. I had my heart set on this and that I didn't know if I'd be able to get it and now we made some things happen and here it is. And I can't be more excited. Before we get going, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. D'Lo, Calvin, Loki Collector, and myself did a live unboxing of this last night. So go check that out and you'll get our first raw emotions of what this vehicle is like. We also put it together live on, um, on the live stream. So some of that's not gonna be in here. This is gonna be me just kind of unboxing it and then having it all out and ready to go and on the table. And then we'll kind of go through some of the features that it has, some things that I like about it. And then, you know, obviously some things that I'm not so sure about. Overall though, this is a great vehicle and this is something that is so iconic. It's almost a character in itself. It's a you know, I, I thought I would be okay with Marty and Doc on their own, but having this in hand and, and having it in the backdrop of, of these two figures just really, really is an awesome look, and it really puts it over the top. Here you can see we do have the styrofoam with the um, Velcro straps in the box, and we have this nice artwork here. It is of the prototype because the wheels are actually too low. I'm really glad that Hot Toys fixed that for us because this just doesn't look very natural or obviously screen accurate so let's get this thing out of the box let's undo the uh, velcro straps here and then we're going to get this bad boy on the table all set up so you can see it in its glory and here it is all lit up it looks great it's obviously going to be you know all plastic but it's like a brushed metal paint um, application on here and i think it looks really good you know, some people might think it looks cheap. I don't think so. I think it looks pretty realistic in hand. Um, is it 100% screen accurate? No, but I think they did a really, really good job. You see the wheels light up when you, you know, you want to put it in hover mode. You can do that. You got these cool LED green lights on the bottom. This thing lights up like a Christmas tree. It is so awesome. The headlights light up in this bright LED light. Obviously, this part's not screen accurate. They should have been more of like a halogen, like a yellowish. Um, light they didn't have these back then, but I, it doesn't bother me. I think it just looks cool The back end is where it's at you have the barcode License plate. I do prefer the, the the original but man. This is this is a great figure to have I'm so super excited to have it look at all of the detail in the wiring here We got mr. Fusion on the back it opens up. There is nothing underneath I wish it had like a light up feature or something there um, just think that might have been a little bit of a missed opportunity but you can see a bunch of weathering and, and you know, you have to put these metal cables on yourself, which they actually went on pretty easy. I didn't have a problem with those. I had a problem with the black cable on the back and you can see it right here. It's almost like it's not long enough. And um, it's just when I put one side in, the other side would pull out when I tried to go to the other one. And then I actually broke this piece off here, just pulled out the glue release. So I did have to glue that back on. You can see that again on the live stream. And then there is that barcode, all the light up features. And the license plate is going to be just kind of like a sticker. The doors are really sweet. Just got to be kind of careful. Open them gently and they are on ratchets. So they will be clicking as you open them. And then you can see the awesome interior there. It's got the cool strap. The wheel does turn, but it doesn't turn the wheels. You got to do that manually. So just keep that in mind. Um, but man, this thing is so detailed on the inside. It looks amazing. You have all of the cool dates. There's a, the alarm clock up there too. It just pegs right in, so it's super easy. But look at all this stuff going on in here. I just love looking at it. I love taking it in. All the detail, the little stickers, the seats are going to be a molded plastic. But I think they look convincing. You do have the, um, the flux capacitor there in the back as well. Just a lot of stuff going on, a lot to look at, even on the outside too, on the back end again, you know, you have these cables here, you have the weathering on the back, looks really good, like heat treatment right there, like burn marks, really, really nice vehicle, I love this thing so much, you know, I think I might be still inclined to like the first one better, I think it's got a little bit more detail, Mr. Fusion is cool, but, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm a sucker for the first movie, I know some people like the second the most, 
but I still like the first. But here you can see the nice paint applications. It's like a brushed, again, a brushed metal. Um, if you want to open the um, the hood, just kind of open it up, pull it uh, towards the windshield so that you don't rub it, and then this tire actually unscrews, and that's where you can put the batteries, and then you have a plug si or a, a button system here where one turns on the interior lights and the, the headlights, and then the next does the hover mode as well. The windshield wipers are like real, like you can kind of move them around a little bit, but be very careful, they're delicate. I just love looking at the dates in here and all the flashing lights and everything lighting up, so it's just, it's super cool. I, I was like a kid on Christmas and um, just kind of looking at all this and taking it all in was so much fun, but you know, some of this stuff in here does move too, so this kind of moves, I don't know, my hand's kind of in the way, but you can kind of see that moves. The shift knob also moves, so you can kind of move that around. Very, very good at like the attention to detail for Hot Toys. You know, they could have just made that, you know, just stationary and whatnot. But even like on the bottom here, you got TFC drive circuits on off. Just like those like printable stickers that, you know, Doc would have put on there. Really cool. You got the flux capacitor blinking in the back with the Christmas tree lights back there too. I just love this thing. Like the, the wheels have really cool details in the lights. They got like some speckling, which Hot Toys tried to make look like weathering. Some people have had a problem with that. I don't really mind it. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but I think it, it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't look too cheap. Then we get the, uh, the base onto the table here. It's going to be like a thin, cheap plastic. It's, it's, um, it's a cool idea with what they did, but it does kind of scare me a little bit. These are kind of wobbly and they just peg right in here. And then the car actually just sits on top, like it kind of fits in these grooves here on the bottom. So it was kind of a pain to get this on because you really got to get under it to kind of see, you know, where it fits in here. And, you know, you're holding it up and trying to get it in. You don't want it to slip and fall, but you can see again where it does peg in. It is pretty secure. It wiggles a little bit, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere unless you really, you know, knock it, knock it over or something like that. But it, it does seem pretty stable kind of scares me with the angle that it is at here but when we go into hover mode again you just want to push from the back end and then support the body with the frame it's going to click i had three clicks and then all the way out and then just take both hands so that you're putting like equal pressure on it to um to bend them down into the hover mode again so pushing it or pulling it i guess and then pushing kind of on the car frame and then pulling it down like that so super easy not a big deal there at all. Looks really cool in hover mode and we have it all lit up. And you can see it's just on a cool angle. I really like what Hot Toys did here, kind of making it look like it was going up into the air. You know, it's not in like any plain Jane poses or anything like that. Here again, you can see kind of the um, the angle of the tilt and how much it, you know, you can really see a lot when it's displayed like this. I don't know if I'm gonna display it like this, but it is still pretty cool. You can do USB-C plug in here. It does not come with the wire. I had a power adapter that I'm gonna use for in the display. I really wish Hot Toys would give us the power adapter. Like, it's only like a couple bucks more. I, you're paying this much money for something. Why wouldn't you just offer that and put it into the box? But here I'm gonna turn off the lights so you guys can kind of just see how well this lights up in a darker room. I think even with your display lights on, it's gonna look really, really good. Um, but I'm just kind of going around turning off all the lights so you can kind of get the effect here. So one more light to go. We'll turn off the module cases and then you'll be able to see it. You know, that it's a pretty good green light. It really lights up. The wheels light up pretty bright. You can see the inside. So really nice there. Here we have Doc Brown next to it. So you can kind of get a size comparison. This Doc Brown still frustrates me to this day. I have a hard time getting him into the pose I really like. Um, but I'm going to try doing it in like a different hover mode too. I want to put these acrylic four inch um, risers under it because I think this looks pretty good if you want to do something like this as well and it, they only cost like a buck or two and you can get them on Amazon so you know you move dock to the side here you can see you know they're pretty transparent obviously you can see the power brick in the back but I think this is a decent look um, let me know what you guys think do you like this or not I think this is how I'm gonna display it right here with Marty kind of having a foot on the door uh, we got um, Einstein there and then Doc. I think this is what looks really classy to me And I again, I'm a fan of the first movie. So I think this is how I'm gonna display it as more in like that driving mode So I'm um, going into some things that I like about this DeLorean and some things that I don't the first things that I like about it Well a is all the light up features is so cool. I love that they um, they fix the hover mode So, you know, there's no quality control issues there anymore. The base is cool 
I like what they've done with that, kind of like making this vehicle a, dyna a dynamic vehicle. You know, it's not just going to sit here. You can do like this. You can do a bunch of different um, looks to it. So I think, I think that's really cool too. I mean, the other thing that I love is just that it's Back to the Future and it's the DeLorean. Like it is an amazing piece and it, I like it so much more than I even thought I would. It doesn't look cheap. I think it looks very, very nice, very high end. Don't regret buying it at all. A couple things that I didn't like, obviously putting into the black hose on the back was just a real big problem. It broke. I had to glue it back on. Again, that's all on the live stream. But I'm going to have to take a heat gun to it and then just bend it to how I want. But it, that was kind of a pain. Um, outside of that, you know, getting it onto the base can be kind of a pain. You almost want to come at it where it's angled up so you can see a little bit better. But it is kind of nerve wracking that it just sits there. Well, the other big thing that I don't like is you do have to turn this on manually. So if you plug it into an outlet, you, you're not going to be able to turn it on that way. So it's not going to come on with all your lights. You do have to open the hood and actually plug it on. So outside of that, I love this thing. Hope you guys like this video. It is worth the buy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.